this video came up on Twitter and the question was, what is the anomaly? And at first I thought it was C.S. atresia, but on careful, more careful examination, I realized that this is a situation where you have a very dominant um, middle cardiac vein and that the catheter is engaged a side branch, a lateral wall branch, just off the os of the CS, and then that here's the diminutive coronary sinus going up here, and then if you watch carefully, you'll see that the majority of the blood flow is actually returning uh, to the middle cardiac, through, from the lateral wall to the middle cardiac vein. And so there's the middle cardiac vein there. So then how would you implant such a case? Uh, first, you would put the AL3 that engaged this branch through the whirly sheath, which is a nine French internal diameter. Number two, you advance a 300 centimeter choice PT floppy wire straight tip through the AL3, around the collaterals, and then back into the middle cardiac vein. You would then position a uh, four French 10 millimeter loop snare right at the os of the coronary sinus as illustrated here. So you'd open the loop of the snare, this would be the sheath, the AL3 would be inside the sheath, the, uh, the four French snare would be inside the sheath, you would then advance the wire into the open snare, close it, and then once the wire was snared you could back out the AL3 uh, and advance the lead using uh, tension on the wire and likely as you get the pacing lead right to that spot.